your hands together for Ebrar Kush. Ebrar Kush to be present on the stage for Sindhi Culture Speech. Start with the great name of Allah, who is the most merciful and kind. First of all, I want to say salam to Dr. Ali Raza, Vice Rector, Asan Soli, Rector, Dean, IMU Management, and my dear professors. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, this is me, Barat Krish. I'm a uh, second year student of Arizona International Medical University. And today I came here to tell you something about my culture day, which is also known as Topi Ajrak Day. So, I will start the introduction of my culture with the poetry of Shah Abdul Watif Bittai. So, the poetry is Sajjan Ain Sani Sajjan Ain Sani Ki Ana Si Avisre Sajjan Ain Sani Ki Ana Si Avisre Hef Tanai Hoi Vatan Jan Visari So, why is this day is closest to our hearts? My respected brothers and sisters, the history of Sindh is about 5,000 years old. Along with three main important civilizations of the world, including Mesopotamia, Egypt, and very important in this very civilization. And history clearly tells that the land of Sindh invaded hundreds of times, but the son of soil Sindhi people always defended their land and culture by sacrificing their lives. Sindhi people never compromised on their culture and land. In 1992, Sir John Marshall discovered Mohenjo Daro and Harappa, and later on he observed that these civilized cities of Indus Valley civilization are about 5,000 years old. And there are several things found in which I am feeling proud to tell you that there are many things found but not even a single weapon was found. It shows that the Sindhi people from thousands of years are peace lovers. The people of Indus Valley introduced the first industry of cotton and the first industry comes from Indus. So it was just brief background of Sindhi people and the history of Sindh. And the history of Sindh. Topi and Ajrak is not our only culture. Our culture is respect for elders, love for youngers, and best hospitality. And that's why I'm really proud to be a Sindhi. Even in 19th century, when was the century of spreading Islam in Sindh, the people of the best empire used turbans to cover their heads. <coughs> and later on, Sindhi Topi taken place. My respected brothers and sisters, even today our Hadrat has four colors. Blue color, white color, black color, and red color. Blue color shows pervicious, white color shows peace, black color shows protest, and red color shows revenge. It means we are not just peace lovers, pernicious, protesters, but also revengers when it comes to our land and culture. We wear Sindhi Topi and Ajrak for the cultural protection, self-identification for the representation of Sindhi culture in the world. So my brothers and sisters, my culture is not is that small, so I can explain it just in hour, two hours, or three hours. I'm pretty sure if I go deep, it would take my whole life in explanation. I would like to take my place after delivering the last poetry of Shah Abdul Latif Bittai, which is Khani Teer Kaman, Khani Teer Kaman Mia Marna Tu. Kani teer kaman miya maar na tu Mumme ahi tu mata tu jo hi tu khe lagi 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Rakesh.